How do the rich invest their money? Well, recently, Investec did a survey to find the answer. And 77% of the people they asked said they plan to invest more in UK property. Yet, apparently, 163,000 rental properties have disappeared from the market since 2019 due to more landlords selling up than coming in. So what are the wealthy seeing that the rest of us are missing? What does this mean for the UK housing market? And how can everyday investors benefit as well? Well, the team and I dug into each of those questions to see if there was something the rich had uncovered that most people were missing. And today, we're going to share what we found. But before we get into all that, why are the rich specifically interested in UK property? Why not shares or private equity? Well, of course, they're heavily invested in those sectors too. But historically, they've been big fans of property. Take Ed Sheeran, for example. The singer is worth more than £127 million and owns over 25 properties in the UK, including a pub in Notting Hill. Take Alan Sugar, for example, who's best known for his business ventures, or perhaps more accurately, for firing people. But he's actually been investing in property since 1985, and his property company paid out more than £90 million in dividends in 2022. So why is that? Well, it's probably got something to do with how well property has performed historically. Between 1845 and 2016, UK house prices increased by an average of 1.1% above inflation each year. And in the US, it was 1.7%. And a Harvard study found that the housing market and the stock market have had similar returns over the long term, but the volatility of the housing market has been lower, making it more attractive in terms of risk-adjusted returns. Obviously, in the short term, anything can happen, but the wealthy have a long-term perspective and are often thinking in terms of multiple generations of ownership. But that isn't the main driver. The most attractive feature of property from the perspective of the wealthy is that it's uniquely well suited to secure debt against. This sounds weird at first, because these people are more able than anyone to buy with cash if they wanted to. But they're also not scared of debt in the way that many people are. They realise that, used intelligently, it can massively magnify your returns. In fact, a recent article pointed out that over the last 50 years, Leverage has turned average investments into great investments. And because of how stable property values are and how mature the mortgage market is, it's easier to take out debt against their property portfolio than anything else. Okay, so property is a sound investment. But why not nab something cheap in a developing country where the upside could be higher? Well, rich investors like the UK for two reasons. Compared to many other countries, the UK has a well-established and internationally recognised legal system, meaning it's very straightforward to establish your legal claim to an asset. A cynic would say it's also easy to obscure your ownership of an asset through a network of shell companies. But we're talking about a small number of billionaires there, rather than the -the run-of-the-mill wealthy that this study talks about. The UK has also historically been seen as a safe place to park cash, with globally recognised recognised cities like London, Manchester and Liverpool proving popular with overseas investors. And international money was a big factor behind London property prices recovering so quickly after the financial crash. UK property is actually so popular with international investors that various measures have been brought in to deter them, with limited success. So we've established why the rich like property and why they like investing in the UK. But what is it about the market currently that's making so many high earners want to invest? I mean, all this is true, but it's always been true. So why are so many high earners deciding to buy UK property at a time when so many people are supposedly getting out. Well, to answer that, it's important to look at who's getting out and why. Many landlords who've been in business since the 90s have had a fantastic run and are now sitting on big capital gains. They've also seen the landscape for landlords get harder and harder with taxes becoming more punishing, legislation and compliance requirements piling up, and then in a final blow, mortgage rates spiking. Many of them are also coming up to retirement age and thinking, well, I've had a good run, but the good times for property are behind us. Maybe now it's time to get rid of the hassle. Suddenly, 4 to 5% in a savings account is looking pretty attractive. But these wealthy investors see the market very differently and recognise the current weak sentiment as a good entry point. The report actually says many view the current instability as an opportunity for increasing their exposure to UK property at an attractive price point. And that price point is more attractive because property prices have fallen slightly over the last year in many parts of the country. And with so many long-term landlords desperate to leave, there are some opportunities to drive a hard bargain and pick up quality assets at a much lower price. The numbers also add up better than they used to because rents have increased by more than 20% over the past few years. Higher rents plus bling or static prices equals, of course, higher yields for investors. But what about those high mortgage rates? If using debt is so attractive to these investors, why isn't this massively off-putting? Well, of course, you'd rather borrow at 2% than 5%. But the silver lining is that if your investment work at today's mortgage rates, it's likely to continue working for decades to come. Yes, mortgage rates could go up from here. 
but rents will go up too. And if the dream investor scenario plays out, where mortgage rates come down and rents continue to rise, the numbers actually get better with every passing year. So does this mean that the rich have some insider knowledge about an upcoming property boom? Not at all. Over the next few years, anything could happen. Property prices could come down further from here. Changes to eviction laws could cause chaos. But remember, they're seeing this as a good entry point for a long-term hold. And they're betting that nothing politicians or market conditions can throw at property will stop it from being the solid vehicle for long-term wealth creation that it's been for hundreds of years. But it does reveal something interesting about how the wealthy think. Most people, weirdly, only want to buy something when it costs more than it did last year, and everyone else wants to buy it too. Whereas wealthy long-term investors and looking at the current lack of competition as the perfect time to make their move. So now you know that the wealthy are investing in UK property, but exactly how are they doing it? What do the rich do differently from your average Joe? Well, check out this video to find out.